Welcome to the ST online classes. This is class 10 MBAC chapter 3 physics. Name of the chapter is electricity. Page number is 75 1 in your textbook. The topic we are doing is Ohm's law. It is important topic for this, this year also. Ohm's law is what? Till now we have studied what is electric potential first. Okay, fine. After that we studied current. Now they have relation with them. Okay. Potential is also called potential difference is also called voltage and the current i has relation and that relation is called ohm called ohm's law now just before this lecture in the previous video i have shown you that one battery was three batteries were connected and the current was flowing that means if you connect batteries plus and minus you will force the circuit to flow current in it okay that means that is potential is responsible for the current but how much current so that is given by ohm's law this was studied by a person whose name was george simon ohm in 1827 remember 1890 was the electron discovered okay well before that 1827 so that is why in his name ohm's law is uh, written it is simple to understand it's not difficult v and i have some relation v means potential I means current. So that relation is called Ohm's law. Okay, let us write what is the relation. Now this is the statement. This is the definition of Ohm's law. The current flowing I, current means I, the current flowing through a given conductor, any circuit, any conductor, whatever it is, is directly proportional to the potential difference. If you provide more potential difference, that means V1 plus V and V minus has more difference. Suppose V plus minus V minus is 5 volt, that the current will be such and such. If you increase v plus minus v minus if this is 5 volt suppose you have 2 ampere current okay try to understand but if i increase this if i make this v plus minus v minus this is potential difference okay remember potential and difference difference y minus if i make it 10 volt the current has to be increased now maybe for 4 ampere understand if i suppose i make v plus v minus again some 20 volt then current will become 8 ampere do you understand so this is called proportional okay this is the meaning of proportional is directly proportional means 5 volt will give 2 ampere then 10 volt will give 4 ampere 20 volt will give 8 ampere if this pattern this type of dependence happens then we say the current has dependence on potential difference so potential difference is responsible for giving you high current potential difference is responsible if that 5 volt become 1 volt or 2.5 volt suppose v plus v minus become very less 2.5 volt then the current will also become 1 ampere understand see more 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 if it is less then less so this type of thing this is only for example no need to write this part okay so this is the meaning of this one okay so how to write systematically systematically we write in this way v directly proportional i okay so v is not equal to i okay because their units are also different so there is a constant which will relate them together what is that that will be equal to resistance i remember now one thing what is that voltage will decide how much will be the current true you understand this but there is another thing also remember very carefully i repeat there is another thing also which will decide how much is the current let me explain here again let me explain here i'll take this time voltage will decide how much will be the current fine but if this is suppose silver if this is gold if this is iron voltage i give 5 volt i give 5 volt i give 5 volt will they give me the same current same current do you think it will give the same current do you think it will give me the same current remember the symbols also in the same time remember this silver gold au iron fe okay chemistry class also so the current will be suppose here will be such and such maybe i don't know exactly which is more and less but i'll just write 2 ampere maybe this is 3 ampere this is 4 ampere 
so why this is difference because because same voltage same voltage same voltage current different 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 why because the material is different so what if the material is different the way they oppose the flow of current in their body i repeat again the way they oppose the flow of current in their body what is flow of current the passing through of the electron will be different in all why different all because all are having different atoms silver atom is different gold atom is different iron atom is different all have different number of electrons in them so the way they move the inside traffic of the traffic movement of the electron is all different so if it is different in some it will move fast in some it will be slow in which it is fast more current will be there in which it is less less current will be there okay so like that that is how it is decided that is decided by the resistance remember the name resist what is the meaning of resist resist means not want don't want isn't it so that is why resistance is more current will be less resistance is less easy to pass the current okay so that is why this is, there are two things the voltage have the relation v is equal to ri two things will be decided so that is why it is not a very scientific thing it is a easy thing current will be decided by the uh, potential difference right but not only the thing it is the resistance also let us see what is resistance now from this r equal to v by i resistance is voltage by current so what is r r is the resistance or electrical resistance electrical resistance here onward we will start calling it resistance only but for the first time you try to call it electrical resistance okay and then si unit is si unit of r is volt per ampere or we write ohm the symbol is this one okay this is the symbol omega okay this is the symbol for ohm the resistance si unit is ohm right now ohm's law can be verified ohm's law can be verified like this let us see how suppose this is a graph graph paper you know okay and this is y axis this is x axis right suppose i write it little more carefully uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 uh, the side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 six seven fine it will do this side i will plot voltage potential difference voltage is also called potential difference this side i am plotting current this is the origin just like x and y axis in your maths suppose it is 1 volt during 1 volt you get 1 ampere similarly during 2 volt you will get 2 ampere during 3 volt you will get 3 ampere maybe okay or you can call it 5 10 15 20 25 30 so on this side 1 volt 2 volt 3 volt 4 volt 5 volts so when you join this okay when you join these lines you'll get a straight line this is also called verification of ohm's law for a conductor remember this is measured in ampere this is measured in volts okay if you do for any conductor you keep suppose this is not a plastic suppose this is a aluminum conductor and you put battery here and here connection of the battery plus and minus here and take a reading on this one join an emitter here join the emitter here suppose i have this wire i put emitter here okay and there is a battery okay one battery only i'll put here suppose this is a battery which i can change its value this is called variable battery i can change the battery and uh, suppose this is the metal i am going to measure it okay this little thick here and then i'm connecting one voltage also voltage is 
calculated across always okay suppose this way so this is the reading i am looking first i will make it 1 volt during 1 volt okay when it is 1 volt here that time the ampere will be 5 again i change it 2 volt during that time it will be 10 during it is 3 it will be 15 like that so this is the experiment if you do for this conductor this conductor okay then if it is a metal always you will get a straight line that is called verification of ohm's law okay so what is this we call it slope of the v i graph why this is v i graph voltage current v i graph so slope of the v i graph is how to take the slope of the v i graph slope means this is all maths things this is how we take the slope okay you'll understand it is not difficult see now this i'll make a this i'll call it b this i'll call it c look at here this is their angle here okay so this angles 10 theta slope of vi graph here is 10 theta what is 10 theta perpendicular by base what is that a b by c b slope means 10 theta tangent okay 10 theta then what is a b a to b 15 by 5 it's 15 by 5 okay so then what is bc 3 minus 1 right like this we calculate so here what we get ab is what what is ab it is i current side ab means current bc means what voltage this side okay so what is this also you got slope equation one also we already know that we already know that r is equal to v by i in the previous some lines we have done this number two that means what slope is i by v r is v by i so what is the slope of this line one by r okay or you can say r is equal to 1 by slope of v i graph it will not be asked to you like this in the question but it is important that you understand this okay for a good conductor means a normal conductor which is a uh, metal you will find always this straight this can be a question that what is the nature of the graph for a straight conductor you have to say it is a straight line no, or for a conductor it you have to say it is it is a straight line okay so that is the uh, uh, important part that you have to remember here so this is all for ohm's law in the next class we'll do what is resistance thank you